Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today's tutorial is called Don't Lose Your Head When Cropping. Why did I come up with a tutorial named that? Well, I get a lot of questions in my email box about cropping, what the best way to crop is, why are they losing feet, heads, why are people losing body parts when they go to crop. And the best way to do it, I think, is just to show you with a picture exactly how it works. What happens is when things come out of your camera, they're a certain ratio. Most of the SLRs these days use a 4x6 ratio. It doesn't mean your pictures are actually 4x6. 8x12 is the exact same thing, for example, as a 4x6. Um, an 8x10, however, is not the same as an 8x12, as you can tell. There's two inches different. So this is where we get into problems with cropping. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. When we take a picture here, you'll see right now we've got a picture that's 8x12. Um, I've got it sized at 300 dpi and that's why. But let's go ahead and use the crop tool in Photoshop. Here's the crop tool and we're going to come in here and we're going to put 8 by 12 to start out with. I'm going to leave the resolution blank for right now. I just, I don't want to discuss resolution today, I just want to discuss the size. So you'll see if we crop this, it's going to fit exactly. That's an 8 by 12. I'm not going to accept the change right now. If I come in here and tell it to do a 4 by 6, you will see again, it's the exact same thing because 4 by 6 and 8 by 12, 12 are the same exact ratio. Now, here's where it gets a little sticky is when you've got to make an 8 by 10 out of that same picture. So let's say we took this picture and the person, the customer wanted it 8 by 10 or you wanted 8 by 10. And we do this, well, as you can see, we're going to lose something. And by the way, if this is a light gray area, the trick right here is you click on this box, that's where it gets its black, and then you can change the opacity to 100%, because normally it will show more like that. And I like keeping it at 100%. Okay, that's just a sidetrack. But anyway, you'll see we're going to lose the bottom of the dress, or I can scoot in here and we can lose our head. Hence my title, Don't, use your he Don't Lose Your Head When Cropping. This particular photo, unless you stretch the canvas or expand your canvas out to the right or left, you are not going to have enough room to crop this 8 by 10. You just aren't. You didn't leave enough room in photographing. Or in this case, I didn't leave enough room in photographing. So there are some tutorials about how to stretch your canvas. You may be able to stretch this one, although I doubt it would look all that great. Um, the background's distracting as it is, so I don't really want more of it. Um, so for this one, your best solution if you need an 8x10 is going to be something like this to actually come in closer. And when you click 8x10, there's your 8x10 crop. Now, let's go back to our original again. 5x7, um, I want to show you what that looks like. 5x7 is kind of in between. You're not losing quite as much, but you're still losing something. So we might be able to get away with coming a little bit closer in here and just losing a little bit of the bottom of her dress. And again, if I click the check mark, it accepts the change for the crop. Ideally, what do you want to do to avoid this? Well, what you can do is you can try and shoot a little bit further back. If you're getting too tight with your crops in camera, you're going to run into this a little bit more, especially with full body shots. With close-ups, you can usually manipulate a little bit. Um, not always, but usually. But with far away shots and full body shots, if you don't leave a little room on either side, you're going to have some trouble sometimes. So right now, again, this is a 4 by 6 ratio out of the camera or same as an 8 by 12 and if I want to make this an 8 by 10 I'll come in here and crop and you'll see it works beautifully because I backed up I had more room in this one so that's a little bit about the ratio and you can see if I come to the sides with this I come all the way to the sides you can see how much we lose which of course is the two inches when we go to an 8 by 10 from an 8 by 12 ratio we lose two inches it's got to come from somewhere you can't just make it appear out of space so I know this seems pretty redundant for some of you it's um, it's a skill that for some reason a lot of people though have trouble grasping so I'm hoping this video will help now here's one word of caution let's go ahead and crop this 8 by um, 8 by 10 and then let's say we want to come in now we've changed our mind later on and we want to make this a 4 by 6 print if we come in here you're gonna see it's gonna start getting tighter even if we go all the way up we start to get a little bit tighter and we don't have as much room to play so one idea for you it doesn't mean you have to do this is to actually keep your original make sure you have a little bit of space to work with and edit your original 
with all your color edits and all your enhancements. Then when you get to the point where you're ready to crop, crop on that original and when you go to save it, I would come in here and we can do a save as and save it with whatever the name is, or however you like to do it, and then call it 8x10. We could come in here and call this 8x10 and then you still have your edited original, so the original that you edited, and you could then work off of that to get another crop later on. So it'll give you more flexibility than having to get close because otherwise you would lose their head. You don't want to lose someone's head. So hopefully that helped you out there with the cropping lesson. And thank you so much. This is Jody from mcpactions.com.